Hello, good morning. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, is set to unveil a budget aimed at boosting efforts to get people back to work. And what he's calling a budget for growth, the Chancellor is expected to announce a major expansion of childcare support, as well as other incentives to help improve productivity. But the day will also be marked by a series of nationwide strikes as doctors, teachers and civil servants continue their demands for better pay. We'll hear more about that day of action shortly. But first, more on what we can expect from the budget. Well, it's likely that support for energy bills will be extended for another three months. All eyes will be on any announcement around public sector pay as thousands of workers continue to strike. It's understood the government could increase the amount people can hold in their pensions without it being taxed. It's expected free childcare will be expanded to cover one- and two-year-olds in England. And turning to business, the government has already announced its plans to incentivise investment, with £80 million allocated to 12 locations across the UK. And defence spending will increase to £5 billion over the next two years. With more, here's our Deputy Political Editor, Sam Coates. How do you reignite the British economy? Right, gentlemen, what we're doing today is your current with your fitting tasks. At this factory in Walsall, they're manufacturing the workers of tomorrow. Labour shortages are holding back companies across the country. I think Mark's what is currently surface grinding to get that down to tolerance. Here, they train hundreds of engineers, young and old, the skills they need to fill the gaps. Local businesses are, are furious, really, that we've got these skill shortages. Over recent years, especially during the pandemic, you saw a lot of people either be made redundant, furloughed, or realised they were at such a point in life where they could actually exit engineering manufacturing and retire. So what we're trying to do here is achieve by reskilling them quickly to come back into the sector. One of the big drivers of the UK labour shortage is a rise in early retirements. The Chancellor says he wants to get the over 50s off the golf course and back into jobs. This budget will raise the tax-free pension allowance to £1.8 million, a financial carrot to keep the already well-off in work. For those enjoying a round of golf here, it could be a hard sell. I don't think anything would have made me re delay retirement. I think there's a lot of people who would probably like to retire early, and I think I would call myself living in the golden age where I actually could. If you've paid into a pension for all those years and the way that pensions are calculated, it doesn't make sense to stay on for a lot of people, you know? Most of us here are probably in a fairly privileged position, but, uh, you know, to a lot of people, they could make some changes, like the pensions changes possibly in the budget. That will probably keep some people at work where at the moment, you know, they may be, uh, may be retired. Cash for pensions and for parents too. An extra £4 billion, which the government claims will fund 30 hours of childcare a week for one- and two-year-olds. A cautious welcome, but questions over whether the Chancellor's sums add up. Investment of this scale could be a real game-changer for families who are struggling with their eye-watering childcare bills. However, we do need to make sure that it's funded at a level that covers the true cost of childcare. The authors of this budget don't expect it to be a game-changer. Measures on pensions and on childcare targeting the same problem. How to keep people in work and helping the economy grow. Will it be enough? Sam Coates, Sky News. Uh, well, let's just bring you some news just in before we talk to our um, political correspondent, Tamara Cohen. And the energy price guarantee, this is a thing that keeps households bills at a set level. It has been kept at 2500 for an additional three months from April to June. The government saying that this should save a typical household £160. It was widely trailed, but it has just been confirmed by the government. Uh, let's get more now with our political correspondent, Tamara Cohen, who's at Downing Street. Confirmation of this policy, uh, Tamara, but what else are we expecting to see in the budget today? Morning, Jane. Well, that is part of a package that the Chancellor hopes will help people who are struggling with the cost of living. They believe it will take another three months for the drop in wholesale gas prices to feed through to people's bills. So you'll get additional support with those. But that is to prevent bills rising by as high as they would have done. As for how life will be easier, the Chancellor has said that one of the aims of this budget is to get people back to work. And we learnt last night that he's planning a big expansion of free childcare for one and two 
two-year-olds who will get 30 free hours if both their parents are working in the hope that parents and even grandparents will be able to either come back to work or increase their hours and give the economy a boost. Now, of course, parents and, of course, providers will be looking very carefully at whether the numbers stack up there, but potentially that could be a very big game changer for the Conservatives. As for those who don't have young children or won't benefit from these pension changes, the Chancellor has made very clear that getting inflation down is, is his priority, so there won't be big tax cuts for individual taxes, and he also is not minded to uh, reverse the rise in corporation tax that's coming in in April. That's been the focus of a lot of grumbling from Conservative MPs. When he talks about this being a budget for growth, he will introduce other business tax tax breaks, particularly for what he calls the businesses of the future. But I think the focus today in his first budget will be whether he can make a tangible difference either on the cost of living or growth within the next 18 months before we expect there will be a general election. OK, tomorrow. Thanks very much. Well, don't forget, we will have full coverage of the budget here on Sky News with Sophie Ridge presenting a special programme from 11 o'clock this morning, a right through the budget and getting lots of reaction as well. And we want to hear your thoughts on the budget. Uh, you can call us now on 020 81 67 2200 to be part of a special phone in programme to have your say and ask our experts with any questions you may have. You can watch Budget Your Say.